Hey what's up guys, it's Johan and on this video I'll be doing a build of a bioball reactor. I needed a bit of a work area so let's head to the office and get this build started. So, why would you want to create a bio ball reactor or a nitrate factory? Simple. To turn this into this. So let's get into a few things that you're going to need for this build. You're going to need a test kit and that's for testing your levels before and after you add the bio ball reactor. A reactor of some sort. Um, this is just my force band reactor I'm using. All right, the next thing you're gonna need is some um, coconut water. It is high in potassium. Hold on. Ah! Another thing that you're gonna need is some prime. This is not a necessity, but it definitely helps reduce the amount of water changes you're gonna do. And you're gonna need some beneficial bacteria. This helps speed up the cycle and the breakdown of ammonia. The next thing you're going to need is some um, filter media. It doesn't have to be bio balls. This is just what I had on hand. Um, you could also use some K1 columnar, so you could even use some pond matrix. All right, so the last two things you're going to need is an air pump with some air line tubing and a power head with a venturi. This is going to power the entire system and allow for the breakdown of the ammonia, nitrite, and then turn it into nitrate. Alright guys, now that we have all the supplies that we're going to need for this build, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is uh, fill the um, reactor with all the bio balls um, or whichever meteor that you're going to use. And then once that's done, cover the reactor back and then we're going to assemble the pump. Alright, so now it's time to work on the pump assembly. Uh, we're going to connect the air pump into the venturi of the water pump. And that's going to allow air to be driven into the reactor. If not, the reactor will, sorry, if not, the pump will actually push water through that venturi unless you have a venturi that is built before the intake of the pump. All right, so this pump is um, actually just undersized. Um, I'm just only using it for demonstration. So once the reactor is completely assembled, you can go ahead and mount it on your aquarium. Now let's talk about a couple of the benefits that come along with using a bioball reactor. One of the great things about building a bioball reactor is it's a great and efficient way of dealing with ammonia and nitrite. Now in a hospital or a quarantine application like I'm using it in, it's a really quick and simple way of dealing with my ammonia spikes. Um, I had a, so I'm currently running hypocillinity in my quarantine system and I wanted to use some of my live rock to make my fish a little bit um, comfortable and also to prevent a cycle. Unfortunately though, I have a lot of pods on the rock and when I put them in the quarantine system, the hyposalinity, I had a lot of die off and that's what started the um, ammonia spike. So another good thing about this system is it's a quick and simple way of getting the biological filtration started and if done properly, you could see results within two days. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. I'm going to go ahead and mount this on my aquarium. I already have one running, so I'm just going to add it to it. And I hope you guys like the video. Bye. Fire! Fire!